What up guys, Supermetal983 here, here bringing you Supermetal Recommendations Episode 3. Now I know it's been like 9 months or so since my last episode, Episode 2, and I said I was going to get it a bit more frequent, and I can promise you it will be a lot more frequent in the future, I just keep on forgetting about this series that it exists basically, i um, still trying to get into the rhythm of things of doing this series, you know, so I've already started planning Episode 4, so that's going to come either next month or in December, so I don't know which one it'll be, it just depends on what I feel deserves a bit of a push really, but I've already got two releases lined up for that video and a potential third, I haven't decided if I should put that one in yet, but we'll see what happens, but since episode uh, 4 is coming along, let's get episode 3 out of the way, we've got some killer killer releases, uh, Some something different in this episode, there's two different things that we'll we'll talk about when we get there so we're going to start off with some killer death metal if you haven't checked out this band i urge you to do so if you're into the old school kind and this is the first one called van helge and this is relics of sulfur salvation um now van helge um this album i picked up oh i think it was sometime last year i think it was late part of last year i think i picked it up and Honestly, I gave one listen uh, back then, and it was one of those releases where I bought it on just uh, kind of, you know, just a blind buy. I heard good things about it from um, the likes of Runner GMA, for example, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick it up. And I bought it, gave it one listen, and I think I just went, meh, and then just confined it to my shelf. And then that was the last time I listened to it, and I haven't really listened to it since. I mean, I've wanted to get, like back to it and go oh well let's give it another listen but uh, loads of different releases have come up but the a couple of months ago i decided you know what i'm feeling in the mood to check it out so i stuck it straight on and instantly from the get-go i was like this isn't what i fucking remember this is actually fucking killer killer stuff and it's been on repeat ever since it's kind of that kind of old school style of death metal with the likes of Asphyx, Entombed and Entrails for example, you know that raw, beefy, gritty, just groovy death metal and if you're into that sort of style I definitely recommend you check this out, it's a really solid release, definitely one of my more favourite releases in that style of death metal, you know, the, like as I said the old school type, um, kind, I mark this up there with the likes of um obliteration by entrails and dead dawn by uh tomb dd for example that sort of style of death metal if you're into that sort of style like asphyx entrails or entombed you'll find something to like about these guys it's very raw very nasty sounding but very aggressive and in your face but there's still some some quite cush melodies in there and if you just want to know what cush means it's a northeast kind of term it means awesome but yeah some really cool uh, melodies going in there but it still has that raw kind of necro old school feel to it that definitely makes you um if you're an old school death metal fan you'll find something to like about this guy uh these guys i definitely need to check out their latest album that followed this which i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but this is definitely a killer release and definitely something if you're in old school death metal you need to check out um oh what's the song i think it's the song uh, the Salt in My Hands, I think that's one of my favourite songs on this album, but generally every track on this album kills, it's definitely a really solid release that you need to listen to from beginning to end to really appreciate. But anyways, uh, I couldn't find the album stream on YouTube, but I'll link down below um, a track from this album which you can check out, it, you won't be disappointed if you like old school death metal. So yeah, Van Held with Relics of Sulphur Salvation. Excuse me. Next up is a disc that I really wanted to show you, and I did mention it in my updates and purchases that it was going to be in this episode, and I only just remembered, hey, I was going to put that in there, so I thought I might as well talk about it, and this is Pat Juska with, I believe it's pronounced, like, the translation is Litagaya, I think that's how it's pronounced, but yeah, this album, if you have not heard it, is absolutely fantastic for black metal. If you're into black metal and you haven't checked out this album, yeah. If you haven't checked it out, what's wrong with you? This is absolutely killer stuff. This is one of my favourite black metal albums at the moment. It's it's got a very mystical kind of kind of as if kind of like spiritual ritualistic kind of sound to it. It's it's very melodic, but it's kind of 
the only way I can describe it, and I think I said this in me updates and purchases, I could be wrong, and I was good, I was at the point where I wanted to do a review of this at one point, but listening to this, I think it's kind of like, as if Portal, yeah, the extreme black and death metal, you know, experimental band, um, from I believe Australia, um, if you haven't listened to them, definitely check them out as well, but if they were black metal, this is, in my opinion, what it would sound like. Very mystical sound, but still very dark, very sinister, but still very heavy, and still has a lot of melodies in there that I think give it that great atmosphere. But it doesn't sound like an evil record. It doesn't sound like... It just sounds dark and sinister, it, but it doesn't sound evil, and that's a really weird thing to say. But it's very enjoyable to listen to. I think this is definitely one of the best and finest examples of black metal to come out in the past couple of years. I think it's absolutely fantastic, and if you haven't heard this album, I definitely urge you to do so. It's, in my opinion, a 10 out of 10 album. I can't fault this album enough. It's so good to listen to. From beginning to end, if you can't listen to this from beginning to end and you're into black metal, then what can I say? There's something wrong. But yeah, make sure you check out this album. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you're into black metal with a kind of ritualistic kind of majestic mystical kind of vibe then definitely check out this it's definitely a performance to actually bestow upon yourself you can actually and I, I might as well just quickly add i've watched a load of footage of them live and it just makes us want to see them more it's definitely a show you need to see so i need to see it so you need to too so batruska with uh what did i say lithogaia I think that's how it's pronounced, I could be wrong, but yeah, make sure you check this out, fucking awesome. Now next up, this is where we'll break off from the, the usual kind of stuff, I know this is super metal recommendations and all that, but this album I definitely wanted to talk about in this specific episode, because super metal recommendations, it's not going to be all about metal, it's going to be a bit of rock in there maybe on the odd occasion, but we're going to be dwelling out of that spectrum, we're not going to anything with riffs. We'll go on something with sheer beat and grit. That's all I can say. And I'm going to recommend a rap album for you. Yeah, you heard that right. A rap album. We're going to be dwelling into some rap and some horrorcore. If you know what horrorcore is, if you don't, it's, um, it's kind of like a, a violent version of rap. It's kind of like... Kind of got a bit of a death metal kind of lyrical direction, you could say it, which might be a weird thing to say. But anyway, I'm going to recommend to you Brother Lynch Hung with Manable Lecter. This album is sick as fuck. I absolutely love this album, I'm not going to lie. In amongst the black metal, in amongst the death metal, the metalcore, the deathcore, the, the whatever I'm listening to at the moment. This album has kind of shun its way through and made us just go, holy fuck, this is absolutely awesome. And I don't know if this is because I've shown a bit more appreciation to other genres. I don't know exactly. But this album is killer as fuck. It's, it's gritty. It's really gritty album. It's got some real energy behind it. They'd, if you listen to it, you just fell in love with it. I fell in love with it straight away. I mean, me and... Um, me buddy Sean from Sound Fiction, we were um, just chilling in mine, having a couple of drinks, and we were just chilling in the living room, just talking about music, and we were talking, um, he was showing us um, a guest spot on this album, um, Hobson, um, who's a rap artist, really good, check him out, by the way, um, and I was like, oh, this kind of reminds us of what horrorcore would sound like, he was like, you've never listened to horrorcore, and I was like, nope, I've wanted to, but I, I don't know where to start, he's like, Got the perfect song. And he showed us the song Stabbed on here. And we were listening to it and I was I was quite enjoying it, like listening to it. I was loving the beats, I was loving the the flow of the rapping, and then the chorus kicked in and it hits you so hard. It, it I'm not kidding you, we were like, that's like a fucking breakdown, that shit. And I was like, yeah, that is absolutely fucking awesome. And especially through some really good fucking speakers, that hard hit on the chorus. I was just like Ooh, that that hit my sweet spot, and I was like, I need to listen to that full album, and I listened to it, and honestly, I think this is a fantastic album to listen to. If you're into rap, or you fancy giving yourself some kind of violent rap, just on the side, just to check out, this is definitely a great place to start. I definitely want to check out these other albums that 
if I'm not mistaken, there's like a three album saga kind of, you know, thing going on with uh, this being the final one. You need to hear this. There's so many good songs, but I'm going to leave a link down below. I believe it's the song Starved I linked in the description, so I'll leave a link to that one down there, and you can check out what I mean. This is so catchy. Um, I'd have to say, if he ends up watching this, Cam Blackworth, I know you're into a bit of rap. Make sure you check out this. I think you might enjoy it personally, but if you don't, then don't watch me videos ever again. Please, you'll be doing yourself a favour. But anyways, but yeah, this album is fucking sick. I absolutely love it. So if you're into rap and horrorcore, or you fancy giving something a new, new a chance, Definitely check this out. I believe I showed my buddy Metal Viking 82 this. I don't know if he's checked it out, but if he's watching this video, make sure you check this out, buddy. It's awesome. Really killer stuff. But moving on, we're going to move on to some power metal now. Now, I don't talk about much power metal on this channel. But, honestly, lately I've been dwelling into some new power metal stuff. Like, trying to push out my horizon, broaden my horizons on power metal. Like, I checked out, I know these kind of classes, heavy metal, power metal, but... Iced Earth, finally clicked with them. Um, oh, what other artists have I fucking checked out? Uh, Blind Guardian, I've started to get a bit more into them, not just one album, you know. But anyway, the my favourite power metal band has always been Sabaton. I absolutely love their albums. Carlos Rex, um, Court of Arms, Heroes, Primo Victoria. There's just so many good albums in that band. But there is one band that follows just behind them. Like, and... When I speak to most people about power metal, this is usually the band that say, oh, these are the kings of power metal. And now I'm starting to agree. I'm talking about Powerwolf. And this is their, I believe, third album, third or fourth album, called Bible of the Beast. This is one of the greatest power metal albums I have ever heard in my life. This is absolutely fantastic. And I only got it on CD not too long ago. It's been on me want list for so long. And I thought, you know what? I heard the song um, Resurrection by Erection a long time ago. And I remember listening to it and just feeling just so in love with it. It was such a good song. So catchy and so cheesy. And that's what I kind of love about me, power metal. Like, like... The ultimate cheese band in power metal, for me anyway, is Glory Hammer. I absolutely love Glory Hammer. But when it comes to cheesiness and epicness and just catchiness, Power Wolf take the biscuit with this album. Uh, like Blood of the Saints, loads of people regard it as the best Power Wolf album. And the later albums are followed the two latest ones. The good, but they're not as catchy or memorable as Bible of the Beast or Blood of the Saints. But if I had to choose between the two, it'll be Bible of the Beast. This is easily a 10 out of 10 power metal album and a easily a 10 out of 10 album in general. If you haven't heard this album, make sure you check out. There's so many good songs. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Moscow, Ask, uh, Moscow After Dark. Um, Raise, your, Raise Your Fist Evangelist. What a tune. Uh, as I said, Resurrection by Erection. Catholic in the morning, Satanist at night, just Midnight Messiah. Just what it album to listen to. It's so enjoyable. If you haven't checked out Power Wolf, then this is a fucking great place to start. Either this or Blood of the Saints. But if I had to choose, it would obviously be my favourite album. And I love the album more. I, I think it's just so cool. But this album, I'm so happy you have in my collection. And you need to check this out if you're into Power Mill. It's absolutely fantastic. So, what more can I say? Release of the Metal Blade Records. The fat one of the finest power metal bands in existence, if you ask me. I just need to see them live one day. But yeah, we're going to drop the CDs and talk about something a little bit more digital. And it's not an album, it's not an EP, it's not even a compilation. It's just a single. Now, some of these may click away straight away, but honestly, this single I've been wanting to talk about on this channel for the past couple of months now, because it is resurrected my love for this band and I'm not going to say resurrected it's just I kind of dwelled of kind of forgot how good it was and then came back to it and that is some local promotion and I know you're sick of the local promotion but honestly I love supporting my local bands and giving them shout outs even if it gets them one more like on Facebook or two more likes or one view on YouTube it does them a world of wonders so honestly I'm going to recommend to you my local black metal buddies Decrepit and Monolith with their self-titled single, Decrypt and Monolith. Oh my god. Oh, I absolutely love this single. This single came out last year, just before we played with them at the O2. And since then, it has become one of my favourite single, like black metal singles, 
like to put on. I've listened to it so many times. I've listened to it probably about at least between 25 to 30 times in the past couple of months. I think it's just such a sick, sick release. Um, if you're into bands such as Marduk, Nightbringer, or Dark Funeral, you will find something to like about this. Oh, and fucking witty. And if you're into those type of bands, then you need to check out Decrep Monolith. The, the way the full full gear like the traditional black metal does and and not true black metal for people to say but yeah but yeah the play that's sort of groovy heavy but still atmospheric and aggressive style of black metal that kind of like Marduk with tea and dark funeral kind of style where it's quite groovy but still has a grit and heaviness to it and this single it cocks in around six minutes roughly and in my opinion it's absolutely fantastic um I'm not just shouting these out because they're my local boys and not just because they're my brothers and I love them all to death. They're such cush lads and they're one of the best bands to come out of the North East in my opinion. But after winning the Bloodstock Metal and the Masses um, tournament in Newcastle, they're going on to much better things and I think it's absolutely fantastic. They're playing uh, Thrashosaurus, I believe, in Norwich. Norwich or Nottingham, I can't remember where it is, but... Make sure you go to that if you have a chance. Uh, they're playing a, a Darkness Over Cumbria, I think it's called. I could be wrong on that with the likes of Prim uh, Primitive Graven Image and uh, Necronautical, Wolf Bastard and Ninhasag, loads of other great UK black metal bands. But they're on the way to great things and this single is gonna is pushing them in the right direction and I just cannot wait. I cannot wait for the future of this band. I know that the planning awards i believe an ep or maybe an album i don't know exactly but i when it comes out i will be reviewing it on this channel and honestly i cannot wait for the future of this band and if it's anything like this release it's going to be a perfect 10 out of 10 i can guarantee you that so make sure you check out jacrette mullis uh, new newest single that they released last year i know they haven't released anything since but they will be releasing something very soon i know it's uh, i've been talking to the lads quite a lot about it but yeah Make sure you check out their single Decrep Monolith link down below. It's absolutely fantastic. You can also you can download it on Bandcamp and support the band and check it out on YouTube and like their Facebook and all, all the shit that you need is down below. So yeah, there's five releases that you need to check out from the the black metal band Decrep Monolith. We've got Power Metal from uh, Power Wolf. We've got Brother Lynch Hogan. Got some rap in there. Yeah, I know. And then we've got. Um, Bat Juska, some killer black metal, and also some killer death metal from Van Helge. So make sure you check out all those releases. Episode 4 is coming, and there is some funeral doom in there. So if you want some good funeral but, uh, funeral doom to check out, make sure you stick around for episode 4, which will be coming in the next month or so. So yeah, I'll see you until the next video. Make sure you check out episode 1 and 2. And I'll see you until the next video. Remember, stay metal, and I'll see you later.